scapular retraction, aka adduction of the scapula. The scapula is moved posteriorly and medially along the back, moving the arm and shoulder joint posteriorly. Retracting both scapula gives the sensation of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Scapular protraction, aka abduction of the scapula. The opposite motion of scapular retraction. The scapula is moved anteriorly and laterally along the back, moving the arm and shoulder joint anteriorly. If both scapulae are protracted, the scapulae are separated and the pectoralis major muscles are squeezed together. Scapular elevation. The scapula is raised in a shrugging movement. Scapula depression. The scapula is lowered from elevation. The scapula may be depressed so that the angle formed by the neck and shoulders is obtuse, giving the appearance of slumped shoulders. Arm abduction. Arm abduction occurs when the arms are held at the sides, parallel to the length of the torso, and are then raised in the plane of the torso. This movement may be broken down into two parts. True abduction of the arm, which takes the humerus from parallel to the spine to perpendicular, and upward rotation of the scapular, which raises the humerus above the shoulders until it points straight upwards. Arm abduction. Arm abduction is the opposite motion of arm abduction. It can be broken down into two parts, downward rotation of the scapula and true adduction of the arm. Arm flexion! The humerus is rotated out of the plane of the torso so that it points forward, open brackets, anteriorly, closed brackets. Arm extension. The humerus is rotated out of the plane of the torso so that it points backwards, posteriorly. Medial rotation of the arm. Medial rotation of the arm is most easily observed when the elbow is held at a 90 degree angle and the fingers are extended so they are parallel to the ground. Medial rotation occurs when the arm is rotated at the shoulder so that the fingers change from pointing straight forward to pointing across the body. Lateral rotation of the arm. The opposite of medial rotation of the arm. Arm circumduction. The movement of the shoulder in a circular motion so that if the elbow and the fingers are fully extended <coughs> The subject draws a circle in the air lateral to the body. In circumduction, the arm is not lifted above parallel to the ground, so that the circle that is drawn is flattened on top.